Hello everyone, it's Reverend Geraint. Today is the 1st of December, and I don't know about you, but I'm really, really excited. And I'm excited because today I get to open my advent calendar. And each day from now until Christmas, we're gonna open my advent calendar together. And as we do, we'll hear a little bit of the Christmas story each day. On Sunday, it was the first Sunday of Advent, and we lit the first of our Advent candles, the candle of hope. And today, I hope that inside my Advent calendar, I find a little bit of chocolate and a little bit of our Christmas story. So I'm gonna look on my Nativity Advent calendar and try to find window number one. I wonder how many of you have got Advent calendars and whether you've been able to find the first window on your Advent calendar really easily or whether you've had to search like I'm searching now. And I have found my first window and it's all the way up here. But before I open the first window on my Advent calendar, I'd really like to see your Advent calendars. So if you've got Advent calendars, I wonder whether you can post a picture of them or tell me which Advent calendar you have in the comment section. So mine is a Nativity Advent calendar and it's a special Advent calendar because as well as our windows all counting us down to Christmas, it also tells the story of Jesus being born and the reason why we celebrate Christmas. But I'm not gonna spoil the story for you now. We're gonna open the first window, see what it says inside and begin our nativity story. So inside window number one, it says, over 2000 years ago in Nazareth, there lived Mary and Joseph who were engaged to be married. Now that's not very much of the story, but it does introduce us to the first two characters in our story, Joseph and Mary. And we know that it's a story that happened a very long time ago. It says over 2000 years ago in Nazareth, there lived Mary and Joseph who were engaged to be married. Now over here, I have my statue of Joseph and Mary. And over the next couple of weeks, a statue very similar to this one is traveling all around our local area and is spending the night in different homes. But I wonder as we journey through this story together, whether we'll find out a little bit more about Joseph and Mary. So that's all we get from our story today. It's just the first opening line over 2000 years ago in Nazareth, they lived Mary and Joseph who were engaged to be married. So I wonder what will happen tomorrow when we open window number two. I wonder whether we learn a little bit more about Joseph and Mary, or maybe we could be introduced to some new characters in our story. We'll have to wait and see tomorrow. In a moment, I'm gonna open the little bit of foil covering my piece of chocolate and see what's inside there. But first, I'm gonna say a short prayer. And if you'd like to make my prayer your prayer, all you have to do is say Amen at the end. So I'm gonna say a prayer for us. Lord, we thank you for this time together as we wait patiently for Christmas, as we journey together through the next few weeks. Help us to learn more about you. And as we hear a little bit of the Christmas story each day, help us to remember that we are always drawing nearer to you. We pray that you be with us each day as we open this Nativity Advent calendar and as we learn more about you, help us to know your presence, to experience your love and to keep our eyes fixed on the true meaning of Christmas as we celebrate the birth of Jesus, our Saviour and our Redeemer. Amen. So I'm going to open the little bit of foil that's hopefully covering a piece of chocolate. And my piece of chocolate today has a Christmas cracker on it. So that reminds us that we're counting down to Christmas where we get to celebrate Jesus' birth. So hopefully I'll see some of you tomorrow 
as we open window number two on our Nativity Advent calendar. And I'll see you then. Bye.